Okay. Hey, uh, Ken, explain what you're doing here for the YouTube watchers. We are cleaning the PVC pipe. Okay. Now we're putting casing down hole that will actually hold the water in the aquifer. The screen is at the bottom and we're working our way up for 125 feet and then we'll have the pump cylinder inside that that will pump the water up. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that sucker, how high is one? 20 feet? John? Yeah, I think we're about 125 feet. You've already put the screen in, which was the first or the second? The screen's the first. Thing. Well, there's like a five foot and then the screen. Gotcha. And then after all this, they pour the rock gravel down, right? Yes, I'm not sure about that part. <laughs> well, he was talking about somewhere they seal it off. Yeah. And then to keep any debris from getting into the screen, you know. Okay. And, uh. There they go. It's exciting stuff. Okay. Next one coming in, Chris. There you go. Got two or three left after that. And we will have the well dedication tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, I believe June the 20th. Hey, uh, Gary, what's today? June the 25th. I have no idea. How deep are we? All right. <laughs> you know what today is, Chris? What do you mean? Well, we got to document this for the camera. I'm going to post this on YouTube. Today? This, today's date. Yes. Hey, you can see me in your reflection. Oh, today is be a neat video. Today is Wednesday, the 25th, 24th. Wait, yeah. 21st, 2nd, or 4th. 24th. Thank you very much. Um, and that's. Yeah. Do you want to explain anything to the YouTube watchers? Uh, I don't know if I know enough to explain. I can give a good explanation. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there we go. Well, uh. Now I've done some plumbing in my day, some of my rental property. I always like using primer, but the thing is, like you said, Green light. one minute to brush it, but as you're going down into the water, it's cooling and setting up, there's no lifting pressure on it, so really? it's Really? So that's... Right. Yeah. But usually it's pretty much a sealed system? Yeah. Usually it's two to three minutes that I like to let set up. But one minute, as you can see, it's working like a and, you, and there's a point where there's part of it before the screen is sealed, is that right? With something? Keep debris from getting near the screen? Yeah, we have the uh, tailpipe on. You're oh, at the about, end, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, the tailpipe, that piece on the end. Right, right. That's what all the sediments and everything that come in through the screen, they'll be heavier than the water, and they'll settle down into the bottom of the tailpipe. Right. And then the water will be up, and that's why we'll set our pump cylinder up above the uh, screen. Right. So that as the pump cylinder is sucking in, it's not sucking all the fines and sediments up into the drop pipe into the water that they get. It's sucking the water in, but it's pulling water off of the top which gives a chance for the sediments to send out before it settle out to the tailpipe before, before. it out. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> and we will 
officially dedicate this well tomorrow, right? If I think at this point is a definite, right? What? That it'll be. I mean, there's no. Yeah. There's still. Possibility. There's still possibility of yeah, problems. That's what the process of developing the well is to make sure it's going to produce, make sure it's still going to fill with water. Make okay, sure so green. there is. So you can get to this point and still not. Uh, be six, uh, have a good amount of water flow? We could get to this point and not even have water because if the aquifer is a dried up aquifer, the way you tell if there's water flowing in an aquifer or the sand and gravel, just like the stones in a riverbed are rounded off, then that's why the aquifer, a lot of the, the gravel that we had, they were rounded off. That means water's flowing through. There's, yeah, recently at least. Water flowing recently. Well, our, there's been it could be hundreds of years. years Who knows? Out. Right, right, right. It could be many years ago. But the only thing is, if the aquifer has dropped, then we could be in a dried up aquifer. And I remember you were telling me that what maybe 10 percent of the time, maybe 10, one out of five, one out of ten, usually. Out of 30 make. wells, I've had uh, three dry ones. Three. So one so, out of ten. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, is we're on the Pacific coastal area, and we go down. And the reason we'd like to drill around the, the coastal areas is because the aquifers, the water's flowing from the mountain down toward the sea so you're generally going to be able to hit an aquifer and we're deep into the aquifer so we've got like 22 feet or so into the aquifer so we'd have to have that aquifer dry up 22 feet and this is the second aquifer because there's the aquifer that they have their hand up wells in about 60 feet then about 80 feet we have a clay layer that seals off the surface contaminant then we start hitting up uh, into the um, uh, next aquifer, right around 100 feet, uh, 95, something like that. Right. So, and this is about 100. In 15, 120? Uh, I think we, it's going to be about 120. We went a little bit deeper to the tailpipe. Right, right, right. Good, so between 115 and 120, we'll see. You, a lot of times, you also will have what, a cave-in. Uh, you may, or you may have sediments that didn't clear that will actually settle down onto the bottom of the hole. So you may lose a foot or two or three. But generally, it's not more than a foot or so. A lot of times, you can get the full amount in. Wow. <laughs> this is the last full size piece. Uh, you better hope we don't keep going. <laughs> what? <laughs>